They're the most injured people in the history of time. To have gone through these things and actually survived it, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Most of these guys shouldn't be alive, but they are. Music's life. I, I don't know how to say that. It's just air that I breathe. I'm a drummer. I was in a coma during my injury, and the nurse said, your son's practically dying, and you want to listen to music. And the surgeons were cool with it, and they were actually playing Avenged Sevenfold for me during surgery. Even though we're different, and come from different backgrounds, the common thread is not only the military background, <laughs> but we also have our amputations. I think music is connected to every part of life. It definitely played a part in my healing process after I got hurt in Afghanistan. I was shot in Afghanistan, but the recovery time in the hospital I spent doing music, I'd say it's close to meditation now for me. It has the capacity to just kind of like get you to let go. It's something that we have fun and we enjoy doing. And we can go from you know playing a song from the 70s to today or the 90s. You know, it's, it's there's nothing that's off limits with this band. It's just like whatever sounds good, whatever you're feeling. The music they could show how resilient people really can be. You know, they could show people how much you can overcome. When people call you resilient, it's like they see you uh, pushing through life. Uh, no matter what hits you, you just, you just keep pushing. We put in a lot of effort to do it, and we want to promote good in the world while having fun and hopefully we can take it seriously as musicians. Anything can be accomplished with, you know, the right friends, a little love, some hard work. You get busy living or you get busy dying. It's your choice. And it just resonates the truth.